um, if you fasten the bottoms up, because bees do crawl upwards. So if you don't have something like Wellingtons on, then the bees can climb up your suit. The Defence School of Transport is expecting 120,000 new VI bees, and apparently we are the welcome party. Fellow reporter Kirsty's not thrilled, but I am game. It's very fetching colour. <laughs> so one of the things that we do at the Defence School of Transport is consume fuel. About 1.6 million pounds worth of diesel every year. So we're very aware that our carbon footprint's quite high. It has to be in order to deliver what we deliver. Uh, and this is one small way of offsetting that hydrocarbon footprint. Do you know anything about bees at the moment? I know very little about bees, uh, apart from the fact that they can sting you <laughs> and honey. <laughs> Well, that makes two of us, but luckily Stuart and Tracy of Beverly Bees are here to deliver the new workers and to educate us. So they've been secured for the trip, so everything's strapped down, so hopefully they can't escape, which invariably they always do. Reassuring. All right there, Kirsty? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to remove the, uh, the lid, hopefully not uh, too annoyed with the journey they just had. I am reliably informed if one bee stings you, it emits a pheromone that smells like bubblegum and tells all the other bees to come and sting you too. Perhaps why Kirsty is maintaining her social distance. Stuart remains unfazed. So I'm simply going to lift the frames out with the bees and, and put them in, the, in their new, new hive. There are different kind of bees in the hive and they have different jobs to do. If you start from when a bee first hatches out, it becomes a nurse bee and it looks after the other emerging bees and makes sure they're fed and tended and they live in the hive for a few weeks. And then they transition into flying bees and they go out and they start to forage and they bring back nectar and pollen. But they're all female. All of the bees are female at that stage. And then there's the queen. And when the queen first hatches out, she goes out with some drones, they're male bees, and becomes mated. She comes back to the hive and there she stays in the hive there for the rest of her life. But she'll just be the laying machine. And the other bees affect how much she lays. They will either feed her so she lays well, or if they realise that they need less bees, they will hold back on the feeding and she'll lay less. When the, the queen lays an egg, she can determine whether to fertilize it. And if she fertilizes it, it becomes a, a female bee. And if she doesn't, it becomes a drone bee and the drones are the males. And they, they stay in the hive. They don't go and get nectar. They, they just uh, are there to join drone clouds and to mate with emerging queens. And towards the end of the summer, they get pushed out of the hive and by the rest of the females <laughs> because their job is done. So the main colony with, with the bees have now been transferred into the hive uh, but obviously in the process there's quite a lot of bees that have started to fly um, so at the moment they're not quite sure where they are uh, but in a short while the worker bees with the queens will, will realise there's been disruption and they will start to fan the pheromones that the queen emits and that will attract the, the, the bees that are outside the hive. It'll attract them to the entrance, show them where it is. And then probably after half an hour, all the bees will, will be back into the hive and within the colony. And from there, they will carry on living their lives. Great news for the bees and for Kirsty. Oh, it's interesting because it, it's, it's obviously it's a military site and we're in a bomb bunker, so it's a bit of a juxtaposition. <laughs> Um, but I'm really pleased that um, the MOE are, are offering out this kind of environment to the bees. I mean, I think they'll really enjoy being here. <laughs> and that was the last bee pun. Keep an eye out for Defence School of Transport Honey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.